I'm Darren Marlar. Welcome to the Darren Marlar Radio Show. You made it to Tuesday. Congratulations. We're not even halfway through the week. <laughs> not the most exciting thing to say, I know, but hey, at least you're towards the end of the day, right? Uh, coming up on today's show, you know, the old saying, what goes around comes around. Well, that is now backed by science. I've got that story for you coming up. Life well, question impossible today as well. Uh, news of a newly discovered galaxy is on the show. Justin Bieber, banned in China. We got our birthday wrap up. Uh, they found King Tut's wife, maybe. Uh, that white Ford Bronco that OJ Simpson drove in that uh, famous chase. I'll tell you where that is. Do plants commit suicide? I've got the answer to that question for you. Some guy is building a Noah's Ark in his backyard. Uh, we've got uh, useless facts. Uh, let's see here. Um, we've got a very depressed guy who, uh, well, it's because of the IRS and taxes, but we're, I think I'm actually on his side on this one, and uh, we'll tell you why here coming up a little bit later on. A homemade license plate. It leads police to a criminal individual in our brain on drug story. Uh, all that and a whole lot more up next. It's, you know, whether you like salad or hot fudge, we got something for you in today's Weird Holidays coming up next on the show. The program normally heard at this time will not be heard at this time, so we can bring you something that is worth hearing. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. That is the word word on the street. Sign up to get Darren's newsletter on his website at darrenmarlar.com. Hey, I'm Darren Marlar. You know, the old saying, what goes around comes around, well, it is now backed by science. I've got that story for you coming up. Let's kick off the morning with today's Question Impossible. Your question, the only genuine freshwater sharks in the world can be found where? Again, the only genuine freshwater sharks in the world can be found where? I'll have the answer for that coming up here in just a bit. Right now, though, it's time for today's weird, wacky, strange, zany, odd, bizarre, quirky, unusual holidays. Today is Tuesday, July 25th, 2017. You have 152 shopping days until Christmas. Today is the birthday of the birthday cake. It's also National Hot Fudge Sunday day, as if you need an excuse. You would think that would come on to Sunday, but no. Uh, also, National Salad Week, which goes terribly with hot fudge and birthday cake. Uh, today is Be Adamant About Something Day. You know, like about getting that hot fudge Sunday. And it's Parents' Day, paying tribute to parents whose devotion to their children strengthens our society and forms the foundation for a bright future for our country. Now, I mean, that's all well and good. It's, it's a feel-good type of thing, but haven't we already covered this? We've got Mother's Day and Father's Day, so that covers Parents' Day, right? Uh, so it's kind of redundant. Plus, we have Grandparents' Day, which is essentially just Parents of Parents' Day. I don't know why we need a Parents' Day, but uh, also today is Feed the Country Ducks Day. Now, now, that either means to feed the ducks when you're out in the country or to feed our entire nation duck for dinner. Identify yourself. You're listening to... Here's the deal. It's about time. Is everyone ready? 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 The master of ceremony. Darren Marlar Radio Show. Listen. Crank up the radio. radio. If you miss any part of the show, you can catch up at DarrenMarlar.com. That's D-A-R-R-E-N-M-A-R-L-A-R.com. Well, you know the old saying, what goes around comes around? Well, it is now backed by science. A Harvard study confirms that being kind to other people, it's contagious. It's benefiting all of us, so be good for goodness sake. Study participants, they played a public goods game in which one person gave money to other people. And the players didn't know each other before the game, and they never played it more than once with the same person. Well, despite their lack of personal connections, the players' generosity in the first round was tripled by others who were influenced to show even further kindness by giving more money. The conclusion was that when folks uh, are the recipient of generous acts, they pay it forward, creating a domino effect of increasing kindness. Among other fascinating findings by the study's researchers, Harvard University physician Nicholas uh, Christakis and James Fowler, a social scientist at the University of California, San Diego, they say that happiness, loneliness, and obesity also have a contagious effect. Hey, by the way, just read this this morning, news of a newly discovered galaxy. We'll have that for you coming up. And Justin Bieber 
He has been banned from China in order to purify the nation. <laughs> hey, you know what? We need purification too, don't we? I mean, it, it could be worth a try. You know, just, just saying. The most significant event on the internet today. Listen up. The Jaren Marler Radio Show. The Jaren Marler Radio Show. You have to continue to personally, personally torture me? We've got the birthday wrap-up coming your way here in just a bit. Hey, I'm Darren Marlar. Welcome to the Darren Marlar Radio Show. Researchers say they may have discovered the tomb of King Tut's wife. She was the one who really wore the pants in Egypt. <laughs> uh, hey, scientists, uh, they have discovered another galaxy located 4 billion light years from Earth. The hidden dwarf dark galaxy it was discovered by astrophysicists at Stanford. Researchers they used a technique called gravitational lensing to discover this new galaxy, and they say the process it could help researchers also learn about other hidden parts of the universe. But you know, here we're talking about the speed of light, and even then it would still take you four billion years to get there. So uh, you better be sure to use the restroom before you leave, and you might want to pack a lunch. <laughs> Hey, I'm Darren Marlar. Welcome to the show. That white Ford Bronco in, uh, in which the famous O.J. Simpson chase took place, well, it's now in the Alcatraz East Crime Museum in Tennessee. At least for now. The, the juice is going to need a vehicle to travel between golf courses when it gets out in October. It's the birthday wrap-up for Tuesday, July 25th, celebrating birthdays today from The Single Guy, Kate Fear, Goodfellas, actress Alia, uh, Ileana Douglas is 52. Also, model-slash-actress uh, uh, Iman, she's 62 today. You might remember her from Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country. She was also in a phenomenal film called No Way Out with Kevin Costner. And from Lost in Space, Episodes, Man with a Plan, we all know him best as Joey from Friends, Matt LeBlanc is 50. If you like scary stories, well, you can check out my weekend show. It's uh, Weird Darkness, and you can find that at WeirdDarkness.com. I'm Darren Marlar. Do you think plants commit suicide? I know that sounds kind of dumb, but you could probably guess the answer to that just by me asking you the question. I'll give you the details, though, coming up in just a few minutes. Speaking of questions, our question impossible question. The only genuine freshwater sharks in the world can be found where? Well, the answer is the Ganges River in India. Well, Louisiana, uh, Louisiana man, uh, he has been arrested and booked into the same jail now for the 77th time. This time he was caught when he got stuck in the chimney of a business. You know, shouldn't there be some kind of limit on how many times you can get arrested, you know, without being confined to house arrest with an ankle monitor and an electrified fence? Deny. Unit 12, there's a break in at the Acme Warehouse. The real life story of men and women on the side of law and order. Hey, Bill, uh, shouldn't we go check out that break in? Nah, Batman will get it. Cops in Gotham City. Hey, hey, look, that guy's mugging that old lady. Let's get him. Nah, Batman will save her. Follow the uniformed officers of Gotham City on an average night. Sure it was a nice night. Didn't you Didn't you just hear that explosion? Yeah, I did. Uh, you want to go get some donuts? Well, shouldn't we go nah, and... Nah, Batman's already there. Oh, yeah. Cops in Gotham City. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Don't worry about it. Batman will get him. Hey, pass me some coffee. Oh, yeah, here you go. The Jared Marler Radio Show. He should go make people laugh in heaven. Get your thoughts heard. Send Darren a message through Facebook, Twitter, or his website at DarrenMarler.com. The Darren Marler Radio Show. If you'd like a few more laughs after the show, you can check out DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I put up a new episode every day. I'm Darren Marler. Uh, what, do you, what would happen if Noah's Ark was being built for the first time today in 2017. How do you think the neighbors would respond? I'll have that story for you coming up in our moment of duh on the way. So, so can plants commit suicide? Well, you think it's a joke, but no. When provoked beyond their endurance, 
plants are quite capable of committing suicide, according to a recent study. The findings they were discovered by cell biologists and biochemists at Vienna University in Austria, and the researchers found that when plant life is threatened by either animals or infection, they deliberately sacrifice parts of themselves. It's often a wrong assumption that immense heat or ozone kills a plant, explained study leader Andreas Bachmer. Most of the time, plants create a special program uh, that th themselves to save what can be saved. So despite the voluntary death of certain parts of the plant, it remains alive in its core. So it doesn't actually commit suicide, but apparently it kind of maims itself in order to survive. Dude, listen, listen, listen. 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 What's your name? Jaron Marler. I'm going to make him stay in. The Jaron Marler Radio Show. I have no faith in this at all. How would you like to be a part of the show? Well, if you visit the radio show page at DarrenMarler.com, you can send me an email for my email bag. And you can find that at DarrenMarler.com, D-A-R-R-E-N-M-A-R-L-A-R.com. It's time for today's Moment of Duh, and for decades now, many residents of Frostburg, Maryland, They've been puzzled and annoyed at this three-story high, 400-foot-long metal and concrete frame that Pastor Richard Green calls his modern Noah's Ark. Pastor Green said the idea came to him in a vision during 1976, and he works on this thing in his spare time while awaiting Judgment Day. Some neighbors are patient, but others call the Ark an eyesore that depresses property values and wastes religious charity money. So far, contributions to the Pastor Green Ark Project have totaled a million dollars. Now, I would think as a pastor, he should know that God promised in the Bible never to flood the planet ever again. Duh. New research predicts that in 65 billion years, the moon is going to crash into the Earth. Man, I am glad I just renewed my homeowner's insurance. Well, I might not know how to tango, but I know how to man dance. The Darren Marlar. I think you're a little confused here. Bring it, meat! Radio show. I'm Darren Marlar, and uh, Gerardo Gonzalez, he is very depressed right now. It seems that taxes are getting the best of him, too, but even more so than the rest of us. I'll have that story for you coming up. I'm Darren Marlar, and Apple has shared some of the new emojis that they're planning on releasing later this year, and they include a zombie, T-Rex, zebra, mind-blown, vomit, <laughs> vomit, yoga, and then this one is the one I don't understand. Breastfeeding. Uh, an emoji for breastfeeding. How often is that emoji needed? And who was clamoring for that one? And now another useless fact. The UFO and Paranormal College, they've opened in Russia in response to a rash of unexplained crop circles in the region. The faculty says that they're qualified to teach the course because they have video footage featuring the type of UFO called Belgian Triangles, which they say are frequent visitors to their city. Um, no, uh, <laughs> that's like saying that I'm qualified to teach a course on time travel because I own all of the Back to the Future DVDs. If you'd like to keep up with everything I do, well, you can sign up for my newsletter. It's the Marler Sheet, and you can find it at DarrenMarler.com. That's D-A-R-R-E-N-M-A-R-L-A-R.com. Uh, that'll also automatically enter you into contests that I hold via the newsletter. Well, a homemade license plate, it leads police to a criminal individual in today's Brain on Drug story. But first, this story. Gerard, uh, Gerardo Gonzalez, he is a very depressed guy right now, and I don't blame him. The IRS says that Mr. Gonzalez owes the government $16,000 in back taxes. I mean, that's painful just to hear, isn't it? Well, the IRS uh, loses a little credibility on this story because they also say that uh, that Geraldo was working in 12 cities all at the same time. Well, that has not stopped them, though. Uh, they're, they're, they're still withholding $3,000 from this poor guy's paychecks to pay the tax bill. 
According to the IRS, Mr. Gonzalez worked simultaneously in Arkansas, Arizona, Texas, North Carolina, Indiana, Nebraska, Iowa, Maryland, and Tennessee. Well, after much explaining, the IRS, the Social Security Administration, and the FBI, they're now finally convinced that, okay, well, yeah, maybe he wasn't working in all those states at the same time. Gosh, really? Well, they've concluded that uh, other people must be using his Social Security number, so they've canceled the debt and will return his money. Gerardo, though, isn't so sure that this matter is over, and, well, knowing our government, I don't, I don't blame him for thinking that. So just in case the IRS comes back, he's actually sold his car because he doesn't want the government to repossess it. It must be true, cause I heard it on the radio. It must be true, it must be true. Hey, if you want to like me, poke me, tweet me, follow me, or stalk me, you can find links to all of my social media at DarrenMarlar.com. That's D-A-R-R-E-N-M-A-R-L-A-R. Com. You know, each day at this time, I talk about people doing dumb things under the influence, but you know, addiction is no laughing matter. If you or someone you know needs help, there's a toll free number you can call. It's 1 800 438 0380. That's the Addiction Hope and Helpline 1 800 438 0380. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> Mitchell Rollerson of Seville, Florida, he was arrested by Seminole County Sheriff's deputies on his 16th drunk driving charge, as well as driving on a permanently revoked license and other charges. Well, what first drew their attention was not his erratic driving, but the fact that the license plate on his van was hand-drawn. <laughs> well, he couldn't stay inside the lines on the license plate or on the road, apparently. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> Any questions? A recent study found that women find stubble more attractive than any other kind of facial hair, and even more than a clean-shaven face. Researchers theorize it's because scruff makes a dude look more mature. However, ladies, this does not work the other way around. We do not think your leg stubble is sexy. This is it. Your show's funny. I gotta try that more often. The Darren Marler Radio Show. The day begins. If you missed any part of the show, you can catch up at DarrenMarlar.com. That's D-A-R-R-E-N-M-A-R-L-A-R.com. Well, as you might have heard, White House spokesman Sean Spicer, he resigned on Friday. Saturday Night Live is still in mourning. And now another useless fact. Hey, good news! Scientists have found a way of stopping beans from causing gas. Supposedly, a short burst of gamma radiation before soaking the beans does the trick. Uh, one of the unfortunate side effects, though, is that you can't sleep at night because your eyelids glow in the dark. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. Every day that you breathe, you make my life harder. Oh, this is going to be fun. Are you a twit face? Send Darren a message through Facebook, Twitter, or his website at DarrenMarlar.com. Thanks for listening to the Darren Marlar Radio Show. I'm Darren Marlar. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And uh, if you like to listen to past shows, you can find them right now in my free mobile app. Just search for Marlar House in your phone app store. I'm going to leave you today with this thought. Be what you are and say what you feel, because those who mind don't matter, and those who matter don't mind. Good night, ladies. Good night, sir. Hit it, sweetheart. That's all, folks.